Okay, Cuxton, we're going to make a start. Um, we're still waiting for a couple of classes, but I'm conscious of the time because it's already 20 to 3, so it's nearly home time for those of you that are in school. What a strange way for me to be doing celebration assembly today. Um, as most of you are probably aware, I'm having to isolate at home going slightly stir crazy, but your pictures of your snow days, the way you enjoyed and embraced the snow yesterday have certainly kept me going, so thank you. So unfortunately today, children, as I'm not in school, I haven't been able to get hold of the certificates, but instead I've asked your class teachers to email in the names of those children that have worked incredibly hard at home and in school over the last week, um, and I'm going to share them with you now. I promise at some point you will receive the certificates, they will come your way, um, but unfortunately not just right now. So let's start with the early years and the first certificate goes to Olivia A for being so helpful and kind by helping doing the washing up at home. Olivia, you need to come over to my house, my washing up's building up as we speak, so well done to Olivia. To Joshua SH for his wonderful ideas and effort to make his story for writing week. So your um, story was incredibly engaging, Joshua, so well done. To Sebastian RC for his wonderful photography skills and imagination re when retelling his story. I know so many of you embraced going out last week to find out what was behind the door. Um, so it's lovely to hear that Sebastian had fun outside with his camera. And to Lila L for showing wonderful coin counting skills. You were able to count coins of different values, which is super tricky. So well done to Lila. Let's give the whole of early years a big round of applause. Now we're off to year one. So, so the first certificate goes to Layla for her perseverance with English and maths, even when finding it hard. So showing that um, perseverance and resilience that we want all our children at Cuxton to demonstrate. To Grayson for going above and beyond and doing extra telling of the time practice. Well done, Grayson. For Daisy Ann for working hard on her story plan at home and then completing her story at school. Well done, Daisy. That's no mean feat. We know how difficult it is for some children going to and from home and school. So well done. To Skylar for working really hard on her story. Skylar, I'd love to see the finished product. Please send it in. Let's give you one a big round of applause. Well done. So now we're off to year two and we have a certificate here for Molly for her fantastic effort with her story during writing week. I'm seeing a bit of a theme here that I think Mr Brett will be pleased about. Lots of certificates this week for writing week. So well done to Molly. To Arthur D for a brilliant animal fact file about a Humboldt penguin. Arthur, I know very little about Humboldt penguins. You have to tell me some more. And I saw on our Facebook page on Friday that year two loved their virtual school trip, um, which I know you really, really enjoyed. And we have one here for Amelia for her enjoyment of the rainy weather last week and making us all smile with her puddle video. And I did see Amelia's video and it put a huge smile on my face. And finally, Mr. A. Mallon, Ms. Parsons and Ms. Taylor want to recognise the whole of year two for their hard work and determined attitude over the past term to complete their home learning to a high standard. We are so proud of you. Well done, year two. Let's give year two a big round of applause. Now, after year three, we have Bobby, who's receiving a certificate for his determination in, com in completing learning, even though he's been unwell. And I spoke to Bobby's mum last week and said, look, if he's not feeling well, please do not worry. But they were so determined as a family to get the home learning done. So thank you. To Poppy J for her enjoyment and passion in her music lesson. Lovely to hear of a certificate for another subject. For Sienna, for her belief and independence in her maths work this week. Keep it up, Sienna. And to Daisy, for her realistic drawing of an ox in art. And I'm so excited to return to school on Friday for our inset day, because I know Miss Powell is very busy creating our whole school display all around Chinese New Year. So I can't wait to see it. And finally, this isn't a certificate, but it is for someone who's reached 100 reads. And normally this person would be able to come down to my office and we'd write their name on a leaf. 
So please do so when I'm back to school. So well done to Amelia B for reading 100 books. An amazing achievement, Amelia. Let's give you three a round of applause. Now we're off to year four and we have a certificate here for Eldon who settled into school so well. And I was speaking to Eldon's mummy last week through email and she's just as pleased at how well he settled into Cuxton. So keep it up Eldon. Well done to Jessica for working hard in all her lessons and really believing in herself. So demonstrating our belief value. Well done to Darcy for her hard work in all lessons, but particularly her story writing. Another budding author in the making. Keep it up, Darcy. And well done for Finley for his incredible efforts in his home learning, particularly his story writing as well. So I'd love to see your stories, children. Let's give you four a big round of applause. Year five, so a certificate here for Ava May for being so kind and thoughtful at all times. And that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I regularly kind of cover the year five lunchtime and I have a chat with Ava and she's always kind and considerate. Well done to Ollie for his fantastic work during home learning, producing work of a really high standard. Well done to Logan for his fantastic efforts with his home learning as well. So keep it up. And finally, a huge well done for Freya for trying really hard with her home learning. So year five across the board, trying incredibly hard. Keep it up, year five. Let's give them a huge round of applause. So finally, off to year six. So we have a certificate here for Lily H for her fantastic perseverance in her maths work throughout the home learning period. Lovely to hear that, Lily. Well done. We have one here for Akemba for producing high quality work throughout the home learning period. Keep it up. Six weeks of really good quality work, Akemba, is an amazing achievement. So well done. Jessica Arf, always putting her best effort into every piece of home learning she completes. And as I said earlier, that's no mean feat. So well done, Jess. And finally, a big well done to Madison for her careful consideration of language choices in her writing to create specific effects. And I presume, Madison, that links to your story writing from Writing Week last week. So well done. Let's give you six a round of applause. OK, we have our general certificates now for the tidiest classrooms and for the best engagement for remote learning and so on. So this week, I would like to recognise a year group who are now using an online platform to record their learning so well. And I know Mr. Wordsold and Miss Robinson over recent months has been work, have been working with the parents of this particular year group to help them upload onto this um, onto tapestry. Um, they've commented on learning on tapestry and so on. And it's really pleasing to hear that so many of our families now at Cuxton in the early years are engaging on our online platform tapestry. So a big well done to the early years children and the parents. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now, the tidiest classrooms this week. Now, obviously, I'm not there to see them. So I had to ask the cleaners um, to text me to let me know. So this week, the tidiest classroom in the infant school goes to, drum roll, and stop. Year two, well done, year two. Really impressive. That doesn't surprise me at all. Every time I walked past your classroom at the start of the week, it was always spotless. And the tidiest classroom in the junior school goes to, and once again, they've had a tricky choice. Ready, drum roll. Year four and year six. Wow, year four are on a bit of a roll. So after a few weeks of not receiving any certificates for the tidiest classroom, we've had a couple over recent weeks. So year four keep it up, particularly when we reopen properly. And this week, the staff certificate goes to a group of staff who are supporting their teachers wonderfully at home and in school. And I'm sure they won't mind me saying over recent weeks, we've had to teach some of them a thing or two around IT. 
So many of them hadn't accessed emails before, hadn't gone on Teams meetings, hadn't uploaded videos, but over recent weeks they've become absolute experts. So I'd like to say a big thank you to our teaching assistants and our HLTA in school for supporting our teachers wonderfully at all times. They really have gone above and beyond. Let's give our teaching assistants and HLTAs a big round of applause. And finally, just because I'm at home, it doesn't mean that we miss out on the golden book. So Mrs. Sell this morning sent me a photo of the golden book so I could read out the names of the children who need to be recognised. So let's make a start. So we've got Alex um, J, Ted H, Bo B, Poppy D, Finley H, Finn O, Ryan L and Katie B for meeting the community value by looking after our outside environment. They picked up loads of rubbish up on our field last week, so thank you. To Bella W for amazing adding up of lots of numbers, using wood chip counters cleverly to help her. Well done, Bella, meeting my Facebook challenge last week to use um, objects around school and around the home to help you with your maths. Well done to William M for brilliant counting on with his money. Well done to Fraser F, um, S, sorry, for an amazing story writing during writing week with great description and engaging Narnia inspired storyline. Well done to Fraser. And well done to Katie B for fantastic use of manipulatives, number lines and mental calculation to solve problems involving addition and subtraction of money. Great perseverance when things got tricky. Well done, Katie, showing that believe value. Really, really impressive. Now, finally, I want to say a big thank you to all the staff that helped this morning open the school and make, um, made sure it was safe for you all. So they were sweeping the pavements, they were clearing the snow, they were sorting and so on. Um, and I really, really do appreciate your help. I felt incredibly guilty sat at home in the warm with my cup of tea, um, looking outside and seeing that you were all out there in the cold. Um, but it means the world to me and it shows me once again what an amazing team I have around me at Cruxton so thank you. Children enjoy your week just because I'm at home and just because Mr Bilton's at home it doesn't mean that we don't know what's going on your teachers are keeping us regularly updated and um, keep sending those photos through because they're putting a big smile on my face whilst I'm isolating um, and I will do a Facebook message at some point this week but if you don't see it have a wonderful half term when it arrives. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.